Okay, hey, welcome back, and uh, uh, congratulations on making it through the other exercises. So, hey, let's keep this A train going. We're going to work on this exercise. Uh, again, remember, uh, keep the fingers relaxed, not tense, and we're going to give the fingers to the hands and numbers. This is finger one, two, three, four, five of the left hand. This is finger one, two, three, four, five of the right hand. So what we're going to do, we're going to start off with the right hand. We're going to Work, uh, and then we're going to move to the left hand and, and then we're going to do both hands together. You should pretty much know the uh, know, know the spiel by now as to how, how I'm working through these exercises. Get you comfortable with, with one hand, get you comfortable with the other hand, and then work both hands in there together. So, uh, this is a uh, right hand, finger number one, middle C. It'll be uh, C, D, E, F, G, C, D, E, F, G. G F E D C G F E D C C D E F G G F E D C <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's do it one more time. C D E F G C D E F G G F E D C G F E D C C D E F G G F E Okay, you'll play that until you become comfortable with it, and then you move to the left hand. This is middle C, one octave down from middle C, finger number five of the uh, of the of the left hand. C D E F G C D E F G G F E D C G F E D C C D E F G G F E D C. Okay, you work on that. When you're comfortable with both hand with uh with each hand individually, then you do both hands. Finger number one of the right hand, finger number five of the left hand, middle C, C one octave down for middle C. C D E F G C D E F G G F E D C G F E D C C D E F G G F E D C. Okay, I'll do it for you one more time. And look at my fingers. How are they? They're pretty. Uh, they're pretty natural position, right? Kind of curve. Let me just flip it over for you. See the curve? They're not stuck out like that. They kind of just curve. And uh, don't get frustrated when you try to play these pieces. If you're a beginner, it's going to take you, you know, a couple of days for some people, a couple of weeks for others, in some folks maybe in a month, you know. So just uh, work at your own pace, but. The biggest thing for you not to do is to become frustrated. Just that in your mind, you're trying to train your mind to do something that it's not accustomed to doing. You're using a piece of your mind that, that you have not normally used. So, And to have the mind to make the connections to the fingertips, to make the connections to the keyboard, that takes time. But So if you just stick it out and just be patient with it, you, you'll get through it. So if you... Don't get frustrated to a point where you want to stop. Just just uh, step back for a minute if you have to. Stop for a minute, then come back to it, and and work it out. But but uh, but but don't let the frustration overtake you. So, and I'm speaking from experience because when I first started learning the piano, boy, it was hard just to make that connection of the mind to the fingers to the keyboard. It was like, man, oh man, this is tough. But as you kind of Practice every day, 15 minutes a day, 30 minutes a day, an hour a day, whatever you're given to it. As you practice every day, you see yourself just getting a little better. So just a guess, just a, a note, a note of wisdom, I guess you can say. And I'm speaking from experience, just just hanging there with it. OK, so where was I? We're going to do the uh, both hands together one more time. Sorry about that little rant there, but I just kind of felt as though I needed to say that. OK, so. <clears throat> C D E F G C D E F G G F E D C G F E D C C D E F G G F E D C Okay, so practice that. 
until you're comfortable with it. Keep the passion. <clears throat> Keep the patience. If you do those things, uh, you will be successful in learning this piece. So until the next time, uh, have a blessed life.